good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Monday, August the 13th, 2018, and this is episode 2832. My name is Bruce Turner, so glad you've joined us for this Monday morning episode of Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Hope in the Dark. Stay tuned. Have you ever struggled? (laughs) Have you ever experienced some darkness? You know, when life hits hard and plunges us into a sea of questions that we hoped we'd never have to ask. But when you feel broken, abandoned, and struggling to find answers, there's a beacon in the storm, a comfort in your pain, a hope in the dark. I just read to you a description of a new message series at Life Church by Pastor Craig Groeschel. The series is called Hope in the Dark, and I'm acknowledging this morning that my idea for today's Morning Mana episode came from that message that my wife and I heard over the weekend. It's such a tremendous message, and it's it's a teaching from a book of the Old Testament that you may not find your favorite, or you, maybe you've never even heard of it. It's the book of Habakkuk, and we have a very personal story from the book of Habakkuk in our own lives growing up as um, as a young pastor and family. I'm going to include a link in the description to today's episode, and I strongly encourage you to watch it. It'll be available multiple times throughout the week. And if you've not subscribed to Life Church's YouTube channel, I would encourage you to do that because While you can watch the entire worship experience this week, the message itself, by itself, will be available later this afternoon on Life Church's YouTube channel. The book of Habakkuk is an interesting book, and one of the things that I learned from the message yesterday from Pastor Craig that I, for whatever reason, had not known before or studied or derived before was that Habakkuk's name literally means to wrestle or embrace. And there are things that happen in our life, things you may be going through right now that you're having to embrace when you don't want to embrace, and you're wrestling with God about those things that are going on. And Habakkuk is very honest and transparent. I want you to listen to what he said in um, in the beginning of this book, chapter 1, uh, verse 1 through 3 or 4. He says, the burden which the prophet Habakkuk saw. You've got a burden, right? O Lord, how long will I cry, and you will not hear? Even cry out to you, violence, and you will not save. Why do you show me iniquity and cause me to see trouble? For plundering and violence are before me. There is strife and contention arises. Therefore, the law is powerless and justice never goes forth and the wicked surround the righteous. Therefore, perverse judgment proceeds. And God interrupts Habakkuk and he begins to say some things. He says, look among the nations and watch, be utterly astounded for I will work a work in your days, which you will not believe though it were told you. And so God is going to really God is going to bring judgment. He's going to raise up the Babylonians because of Judah's sin and idolatry. And the prophet Habakkuk is just struggling, burdened with what he sees happening in his nation and what he fears is going to happen because of the sin of that nation. There are only three chapters in the book of Habakkuk and chapter two, verse one. And by the way, this is not a a in-depth study. This is just a podcast episode, right? 
But in chapter 2, verse 1, he says, I will stand my watch and set myself on the rampart and watch to see what he will say to me and what I will answer when I am corrected. So he basically come back and said, okay, we'll see. We'll see what happens, Lord. And maybe you're in that place today. You're in the midst of a burden. You're in the midst of a struggle that you've had to embrace and you're wrestling with God about it. Now, I'm going to share with you just the last three verses of the book of Habakkuk because there is an end to the story. Now, there's a whole lot more to this story and I and I, I want you to take the time to listen to the message series by Pastor Craig over the next couple of weeks to get the whole story. But I want to give you some hope in your dark in this one single episode this morning because here's how the story ends. In Habakkuk 3.17, this is what Habakkuk comes to realize and understand. He says, Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be in the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in in the God of my salvation. The Lord is my strength. He will make my feet like deer's feet and he will make me walk on my high hills. <laughs> I'm thinking right now, the hills are alive with the sound of God's hope. Listen, there can be all kinds of things going wrong right now in your life. But you can rejoice in the Lord. You can joy in the God of your salvation. You can rejoice that you know that your sins are forgiven, buried in the depths of the sea, cast as far as the east is from the west, and that you have the gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ, regardless of the struggles that you're facing. So I want to encourage you today. You can have hope in the dark. Can God be good when life is not? Can God be good when life hits hard? When you're lost in the dark, maybe overwhelmed by grief and wrestling with questions you don't understand? When you feel like the depth of your pain can't plunge any further? Remember, you don't have to pull yourself out of it alone. When you seek it, you'll find hope in the dark. Father, thank you so much. I just want to pray for Pastor Craig as he continues to develop this message series. I can only imagine how it's going to minister to so many people around the world. And thank you for giving me the privilege of serving as a volunteer on their team to be able to interact with viewers and encourage them and help them to find hope in the dark. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, bruceturner at gmail.com. Thanks for listening today, letting me be a part of you, your day and you being a part of mine. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. <laughs>